Hello again, Rust players. Welcome to another tutorial in the series of learning Rust electricity. So in the previous video, I showed you how to store and how to generate electricity. If you haven't seen that video and would like to watch it, I will link it down in the description. And today we are going to be talking about how to split or branch out electricity from one single source. Because basically, if we have a battery, right, and we take the power output and we connect it to any electric electricity, you know, related item, that item will be powered. <coughs> Excuse me. However, we do not have another power output. So, and if it doesn't have a pass through like some el electrical contraptions do, uh, you can barely just, you know, power one item from a battery. So we can fix this, let's clear this, by using either a splitter or electrical branches. So how a splitter works is if we put the power inside of it, it now has 100 power coming in because that's the max output of large battery. And <clears throat> depending on how many power outputs we use, it's going to split the power in equal parts. So for example, if we use one power output and we connect it to a turret, I'm not going to make this pretty just for demonstration purposes. Now that one output is outputting 100% electricity. Well, and basically in this case, it's uh, 100 power in general. Now, if we power another thing from the second output, now that is going to give us 50 on each. And if we power something with the third one, like we can use this branch, for example, then it's going to give, well, sometimes one is 34, but basically the others are 33. Because, you know, it's like 33.33, so there's some left over. Um, but yeah. That's basically how it works. Now, how an electrical branch works. Let me just clear this real quick. Clear everything here. Now, how a branch works is we can configure the exact amount of power when we want to branch out. So, for example, a turret takes 10 power. And again, we take the power from the power output. And we put it into the electrical branch. And then it will branch out 10 and 90 will be left over. So, for example, we take the 10 and we give it to the turret. So the turret is powered now and it still has 90 in it. Now we can add another branch, get the power output into the input of another branch. Again, configure how much power we need by pressing E on it and it's gonna branch out 10 again. So, we can power another turret here. And it still has 80 left over. <clears throat> so that's basically how a branch works. Now you gotta keep in mind that you can combine these as much as you want. Like for example, you have 80 power left over in this branch. You can add a splitter. You can put that 80 into a splitter. And now again, if we power out one, well, we need something to power. If we power out one from the splitter, it's gonna give it a full 80. If we do uh, 2, it's going to be 40 each. If we need to do 3, it's going to be like, what, 27, 28 or something? Well, yeah, basically. So that's how it works. <clears throat> now, I would like to show you some practical uses on when to use a branch and when a splitter. So let's say we have uh, 4 turrets, right? So that's like 40 power needed. This one outputs 100 max. And again, if we put a splitter... It's gonna split it into three parts. We have four, so that's not the way to go. What I would do in this case is put four branches down. Uh, put the this one doesn't have a power in because this is just for demonstration purposes. But what I would do is basically use uh, the branches only for turrets, and then we power each branch from one another again not making this look pretty just for demonstration and then each we're gonna set to 10 just like this and then we're gonna connect each branch to a separate turret and now we're gonna have all of our turrets nicely powered and the power splitted amongst all four plus we have 60 remaining so that's how I would 
per power turrets up to 10 turrets because uh, again battery can output 100 max now let's see we have this kind of setup uh, we have lamps we have a few turrets we have a few uh, um, furnaces now what I would do in this case is basically we have three different types of you know electri electrical components or contraptions how you would call it so first of all I would split the electricity into uh, three parts and one part is gonna be for furnaces one for the uh, ceiling lights and one for the turrets so the third part we already know how to we do this so let's take one power out put it into the branch power out the branch into the second branch set this up as 10 and then branch out to one and branch out to the other one and there you go well for now it's gonna say again that the splitter is using 100 on that side that's gonna change in the second year now for ceiling lights it's a bit different because you see lights all have a power in but we also has a pass through so what we can do for the lights is we take the power two for example we connect it to the light as you can see it turns on and then you can just use the pass through to put it into another lamp and then you can pass this through as much as you want and now for the third um, I don't remember how much electricity furnaces take so let me check real quick okay so electric furnace takes three so again I would do branches a couple of branches here take the third output of a splitter connect it to one of the branches connect the first branch to the second branch and then since we need three each we do three and we do three uh, not 31 and not one we do three and then we branch this out to each of the furnaces that's one and that's two and you see how easy it is to split power it's actually very you know it's all in your creativity so you can split this uh, in many different ways whichever way you want this was just for you know simple demonstration purposes now another thing uh, both electrical branch and splitter take zero power which is very convenient because some components take power which might mess up with your you know electricity setup but yeah that's basically how we split power and I hope this video helped you out guys thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one